the way to brightness. So cherish all your precious times, love the past, but you live in the moment now. Where's your guys? Tomorrow's the sky. Of all the grand stadia in world football, none more impressive than this. A very warm welcome to all of you from the San Siro in Milan. And here we have AC Milan against Valencia. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Begley. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. the whistle and here we go Jim you've played in games of this nature who can make the difference Alvaro Negredo for me to start with we'll be watching a, a very proficient goal scorer all backed up with muscle and power and he's a great foil for a, a quicker partner to link up with and, and feed off oh, quite no argument for me on that one So what now? Nani. Honda. Tries to get it forward quickly. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Mustafi. Nani. Going full steam ahead down the left flank, and it's Nani. Tries to stroke it through. Enough try. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Carlos Baca with good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the... Goal! Milan! First blood drawn! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Honda just knew instinctively where the ball was going to end up. That's clearly been worked on on the training ground, and the understanding is, is pretty exceptional between them, and it was beautifully worked. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Oh, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. They have to stay focused. Tries a through ball. That intervention was very necessary. Milan are 
looking odds on to go in at the break with their advantage intact. Back up. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. This could fall anywhere. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Valencia can't make any sort of inroad. To... And the half-time whistle goes. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Milan go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. Here we go again, then. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. It's a loose ball. Bonaventura tries a long pass towards the front. Carlos Baca. Milan are still that goal to the good. Mustafi. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Now it's Baca. Oh, good interception. Wonderful quick feet. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Swept in. Javi Fuego. Milan hit to make a change here. Fuego. Guillem Siqueira. Nani. Guillem Siqueira. Looks like a good ball through. Pitch cut. Guillem Siqueira. Nani. And it's Guillem Siqueira. Back up. Xiao Cancelo. Parejo. Nani. Plays it out to the wing. Get a throw in. Little checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Balls come loose, and the chase is on. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Balls loose, who's getting there? Nani really struggling to influence the game. Yeah, I think if he's going to make better progress, then he's going to need to find a little more space, and uh, I think his team can help out by getting one or two others around him to give him a bit more support as well. Because at this moment, he's just been crowded out, and he's not having the impact on the game that he should. Harmlessly passed. Milan need to hold on for a few more moments. Can he find a finish now? It's Baka! Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Milan hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, you know, it's not easy to hold on to a lead over a long period, but I thought they showed great shape and good discipline to see the whole thing through. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.